I come from a very small hometown. Uh, there is no comparison between the things that I would be required to do there in Southeast Spain, comparing with the things that they are looking for here in Singapore. That's the main idea behind moving to a bigger city to find better jobs, better opportunities. When I came here, I have this well hope uh, to get an outstanding education that uh, ultimately I got. So I was expecting to jump into a whole new market, my industry, which is uh, construction planning design. That was my main motivation when I came here. I just really like the place. There is so much variety and difference from what we have there in Europe that I was hooked. I was in no way expecting something like this, the virus situation would happen. So uh, that's something that is a catalyst that changed everything and you can never expect what is, how it's going to be. So I would think what I struggle the most is not being away from my family or my friends. I think it's directly the, the frustration of not being able to move forward the work pool right now is really highly competitive. There's a lot of people applying for the same jobs. There are not that many new jobs appearing because of the situation. The people is trying to save money and local population is being prioritized in the positions that I'm applying for. The situation of finishing, uh, uh, studying a discipline that you really love and you really like and not being able to work as such after Dedicating so many hours, so many times, so many money, energy to it is, is one of the biggest frustrations and one of the things you, you have to be strong and cope, cope with. Each day I try to set for myself a minimum of jobs I apply for. So at least I feel like I'm moving forward in those terms. You never know when the market is gonna get a little bit uh, better. So I'm just absolutely focused in uh, the professional career. And uh, I think it's the only way for me to, to go through. Actually, it's sad, but it's all I do. It's facing the laptop, applying for jobs, and not much more. After a while, that's why it took me to complete isolation, even if I didn't notice it. And that absolutely take a toll on anyone. It's just the, the sense of uh, probably I never talked with anyone personally for a week or two weeks. And you even lose the track, right? Because you are just in your room doing your thing. Uh, another day gone and another day gone, and you just don't even notice. But uh, at some point, uh, people went out of their way to just care about me. My current flatmates, for example, they uh, celebrated Christmas just because of me. Uh, I will remember forever this Buddhist, uh, Muslim, and uh, agnostic. They were just uh, celebrating Christmas with me because they thought it was nice. And this is, I don't know, this is a uh, removing stuff. I have uh, not too much time, the visa is just going to run out of time. I could stay, apply for an extension of this visa and extend another month, extend another month, ad infinitum, but uh, I have to think what's the point of King extending if I'm not gonna get a job, and also the situation that if I'm not gonna get a job soon, why would I even want to keep uh, extending here? There is no point. 
uh, at some point you have to question until what extent are you ready to go just to stay here. I don't like to admit that uh, probably the best for me is to give up on this place and just look somewhere else. What would be stopping me just to move out of here and try to start again in some other place? <laughs>